All right, so let's put your math skills and your ability to focus to the test and see if we can figure out this math problem all in your head. So no paper, no pencils, no calculators. And here is the question. So what time of day is it when three-eighths of a day has passed by? All right, so that is the question, and uh, there is no time limit here, so feel free to pause the video. But if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'll show you different ways that you can think about solving this problem all in your brain. All right, so one more time. What's the time when three-eighths of a day has passed by? All right, so let's go ahead and see the answer. The correct solution here is 9 a.m. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. plus. You'll be like, oh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I can't focus long enough to figure this out. Well, don't feel bad, and let's uh, have a little bit of fun with this problem, all right? Now, if you think you can solve this problem with a piece of paper and pencil, well, go ahead and just kind of convince yourself that uh, really uh, your issue here was your ability to focus, right? So don't feel bad, but we definitely want to make sure that you understand the math to be able to solve this problem. All right, so one more time. What's the time of the day when three-eighths of a day has expired? Well, let's see how to do this problem right now. When it comes to how to do this problem, again, this is a mental math problem. The way your brain looks at things will be different than mine. Of course, the math here is going to be kind of, you know, universal in terms of what we have to do. But uh, the way you th think about the problem, all right, doesn't have to be the way I think about the problem, all right? So, again, there is a little bit of, uh, you know, this creativity kind of going on here. But let me show you the way, you know, my brain approaches a problem like this. Okay, so I have three-eighths of a day. I want to know what time it is. So I'm like, oh, we want to, we're talking about time. What time is it? So for me, in my brain, when I hear about time, I'm thinking about a timepiece, right? So, you know, I'm kind of aging myself here. Matter of fact, I saw an article uh, some time back that many young people these days cannot read uh, a clock like this with the hour and minute hands, okay? So that might seem alarming for some of our uh, older folks out there, but you think about it, you just don't see clocks out there that much. But anyways, I don't want to go off on a, too much of a tangent here, but again, this problem involves time. So in instantly for me, I'm like, all right, I'm thinking about a clock, right? Okay. Now, again, this is the way I'm thinking about it, and I'm kind of taking a nice, slow approach to this problem for those of you that might have had a little bit of uh, difficulty, you know, figuring out how to get to the solution. But now, the next thing that I have to kind of consider, and you have to consider as well, is we're, we're talking about, all right, um, you know, how much time has elapsed from the start of a day, okay? So, three-eighths of the day has passed by, but where does the day start? Well, you kind of have to go back and think about our clock here, and I'm gonna go back to my 11 o'clock, and I'm thinking about, oh, what about New Year's, right? When uh, every, you know everyone celebrates, you know, Happy New Year's, it happens at midnight, okay? So a new day starts at 12 midnight, all right? That's when a new day starts. So uh, the time it currently is, after a certain amount of time has elapsed, it's going to be the starting point is going to be 12 midnight. Okay. So we need to think about, all right, so from 12 midnight, what is three eighths of a day? Okay. How much time is that? And uh, that's what we're going to have to determine next. Okay. So three eighths of a day. Well, now I'm thinking about, well, how do we read time? Okay. Like what time is it? Well, if I, you know, if you ask me what time is, time is it, I might say, well, it's 7 13 p.m. OK, when we talk about time, we're talking about hours and we're talking about minutes. We're not talking about seconds and we're not talking about days. Right. We're not going to say, oh, uh, what time is it? Well, it's half a day. That's what time it is. <laughs> we're not going to say that. Right. We're going to generally describe time in hours and minutes. So three eighths of a day. I'm going to think of a day in terms of 24 hours. Right. So the first calculation that we need to do is we got to figure out what is three eighths of 24 hours, right? That's the first thing that we need to do here, okay? Because that's how much time is elapsed. Now, uh, the starting point, again, is going to be midnight, but we have to do this calculation first. 
All right, now if you're saying, yes, indeed, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is what I did, and I think this is probably the most challenging mental uh, aspect of this uh, particular uh, prom is to figure out what is 3 eighths of 24, and I'm going to get to that next. But uh, uh, let me go ahead and just actually show you this here right now. Uh, this part of the problem, okay, is where a lot of you that don't like fractions or might be intimidated uh, in this problem because we have 3 eighths involved, this is where you need to make your life a lot easier with fractions. Okay, so if I want to find 3 eighths of 24, and that's what I want to do here, right? So 3 eighths of 24 hours, I'm trying to find out what is 3 eighths of 24. So technically, what I want to do is take 3 eighths and multiply it by 24 or 24 over 1. Now, I'm not going to take 3 and multiply by 24 and then divide that by 8. That's too much math calculation. The whole point of this problem, okay, is to have you say, all right, what's 3 eighths of 24? What you want to do in your mind's eye is say, all right, 24, okay, uh, can I divide 8 into 24? Yes, right? So 24 divided by 8. You want to see this problem, not so much this problem, right? Now, again, this is the way I see it. But I, you know, if you didn't have a way of figuring this out, look at it this way. When you're multiplying fractions, kind of think of it this way. And you want to kind of do some cross canceling. All right. So instead of multiplying across, you want to take this number and, and just kind of say, all right, can I divide this denominator here into this number? All right. So 3 eighths of 24, you're like, all right, 24 divided by 8. OK. Can I take 24 divided by 8? Yes. All right. And the answer is 3. OK. 24 divided by 8 is 3. Now, what's going on here technically, all right, if you want to get very technical about it, 24 is the same thing as 8 times 3. What you're doing is cross-canceling like factors. So this is going to be 3 times 3. But, you know, you don't want to go through all that in your brain. You're just going to say, all right, 24, 3 eighths of 24. So let me say 24 divided by 8. Or can I take 24 divided by 8? Yes, I can. It's 3. So now I have 3 here, and I have this 3 in the numerator. So 3 times 3 is 9. OK, so that's probably the most challenging uh, mental aspect of this problem. OK, again, if you didn't know how to multiply fractions, of course, you're going to be lost here. But if you're, you know, pretty good with fractions, you should hopefully uh, be able to figure this out. OK, so three eighths of 24 hours is nine hours. OK, so that's how much time has passed by. But again, we want to know what actual time is it after three eighths of the day has passed by. So now we could take this answer and uh, actually, you know, finish the question. But before we do that, I'd like uh, you, if you don't mind, to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. This really does help me. My objective is to grow my YouTube channel as big as I can because I'm trying to reach people who are either, one, interested in math or need help in math. And by you doing this, okay, by you subscribing, it does help that YouTube algorithm kind of push out my videos further out there. So thank you so much. Matter of fact, this is the way I look right now by you hitting that subscribe button. All right, so let's get uh, back to this prom and we're almost there, not that difficult. Okay, so we figured out that three eighths, again, three eighths of the day, or three eighths of 24 hours, excuse me, is nine hours. But the question is, what time is it? Okay, after three eighths of the day has passed by. Well, if the day starts here at midnight, this is the morning, right? So nine hours is going to pass by. So 12 to 6, that's six hours. We go another three hours, that's nine. So nine hours from midnight is nine o'clock, but it's 9 a.m., right? So if you just put nine, uh, I would say that you, I would probably give you full credit, but you want to be specific here. Uh, so this is 9 a.m., nine o'clock in the morning. Okay, now a lot of you uh, might be saying, oh, I figured this out in like four seconds. This is such a long explanation. Well, you know, that's very good. I, I too could figure this problem out in, you know, 3.6 seconds. But the whole idea here is to try to give you some uh, strategies to think about calculations, especially when it comes to fractions, uh, like, you know, trying to find a fraction of a number or a percent of a number, for example, I'll just kind of go off on a quick tangent here. If you were asked, find 25% of uh, 200, right? So if you're, you know, you had to do this mentally, what you want to do here 
There's all different sorts of ways you could do this, right? 25%, you could be like, well, what's uh, 50% of 200? Well, 50% of 200, you cut that in half, right? So that's 100. And then uh, what's, okay, if this is 50% of 200, then what's half of that, which again, would be 25 uh, percent would be half of 50. So it'd be like, oh, it is 50. Okay. So 50 would be 25% of 200. Now that's one mental math approach. Okay. So now some of you could be like, well, this is one fourth. 25% is the same thing as one fourth. So one fourth of 200. And you could be like, all right, uh, 200 divided by four is what? Well, let's see here, 200 or 20 divided by four is five. So this is 50. Okay. So again, different ways to approach uh, problems mentally. Okay. The whole objective is, is, uh, you know, obviously to get the right answer, but if you don't practice this stuff, you're never going to get better uh, at it. And it is a useful skill. Okay. To be able to do some mental mathematics. Now, if you want to improve in just basic math, right, if you're like, well, I don't even know fractions, I need help with basic math, uh, let me go ahead and uh, give you a suggestion. I have a great uh, mini math course. It's called my Math Foundations course. You'll find a link to it in the description below, but it's all basic math, percent, decimals, fractions, order of operations. Very useful uh, course for those of you that want to improve in mathematics. Uh, you want to make sure you have the foundations down before you move on to more exciting things like algebra. But I also have a ton of additional kind of problems like this on my YouTube channel that you can practice as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.